Now that we've set up our Hello World project, we should be able to see our IntelliJ environment, which is this split screen. On the left, we have our project layout that shows our main project folder named Hello World. So let's expand this folder. SRC is short for source, and that refers to the source code or main code of our program. So let's expand this. Inside here, you might recognize our base package name, and inside that is something called main. Main is something called a class, and you'll learn more about classes when we talk about objects later. But for now, know that all the code and functions you write will be inside classes, so main is what we want to pay attention to. And in fact, on the right side of our screen is all the code contained in our main class. And there's this main function that I mentioned before. Whenever you write a program, your computer needs to know where to start running your code. And by default, it will always start at this main function. So inside this function is where you'll place all the lines of code you want to execute. Like if you want to print out a line of text, you'll have to call the println function inside this main function. So for this program, we want to execute a line of code that prints out hello world. And we can do that just by writing a simple println statement here. We'll start by saying system. And you can see that just when I type in the starting letters for system, IntelliJ helps me by suggesting the code that I'm writing. Then I can write dot out and dot println, with IntelliJ helping me every step of the way. Then inside these parentheses, I'll write the string that I want to print out. And that's just hello world. And let's save this by pressing command S or save all. And we have one more thing to check before we run this program. Let's click on this run tab and go down to edit configurations. Then this window pops up and you should see four filled in fields. The first is our main class that we want to run, which is com.company main. So this is correct. Next is our working directory, which is just where our project has been saved. Then we have the class path of our module. And this just specifies the project folder that our main class is in. And that's our project, hello world. IntelliJ should automatically select this for you, but if it doesn't, just use this drop-down menu to find it. Then it has our Java runtime environment, and this should say that we're using version 1.8, which is the version of Java that I downloaded. So this all looks good, and usually this information is filled in automatically, but it's always a good idea to double check. So we don't have to change anything here. I'll just click OK, and this will exit back to our program. We can run this in two ways, by clicking Run Main, or by clicking this Run button at the top right of our program. And I'll use this. After we press Run, we can see that a third window pops up at the bottom of our screen. This is called our console, and this is where all of our print statements will print out. So running this program, we see the expected print output. And whenever we write system.out.println in our main method, the lines will print out in our console in the order that they're called in our main function. And you may have noticed that we only had to run our code. And that's because IntelliJ automatically compiles our code before we run it. And this makes it easier to change code too. So I can go into my code and change this to hello Java. And then I'll save this again and press run. And in our console window, we see our updated text, hello Java. So IntelliJ is really useful. It does text highlighting, automatic code completion, and lets you change and run code really quickly and easily. So congrats on completing your first Hello World program in IntelliJ. I'd recommend adding onto this program with a few lines of code of your own. Maybe try adding two numbers and printing out that value, or displaying any message of your own. That's the best way to get familiar with IntelliJ and comfortable writing programs on your own computer.